the next chapter that we deal with in chemistry is chemical bonding and molecular structure we will understand the molecular structures of uh, various compounds with the help of uh, vscpr theory mot theory and uh, we will also find out uh, other uh, things like uh, dipole moment the ionic nature of the compounds so the first uh, question that we have in hand is we need to find out the structure of co2 clo3 minus and no3 minus by vscpr theory so let us first start with co2 first step that you should do is that you should find out the number of electrons in the outermost shell of the parent atom of the prime atom over here which is carbon the number of electrons in the outermost shell of carbon is 4 in this method you should always first find out the steric number steric number is equal to the number of neighboring atoms plus number of pairs of lone pair on central atom therefore in this case we know that the number of neighboring atoms for carbon is 2 and the number of lone pairs is 0 since it has 4 and oxygen requires 2 more electrons to complete its octet therefore it takes this electron so all these 4 electrons are occupied therefore there is no free lone pair therefore the steric number comes out to be equal to 2 now we know that for steric number equal to 2 the hybridization is sp therefore the molecule is linear therefore we can write the structure of the molecule as this this is a linear molecule with sp hybridization similarly let us deal with clo3 minus for clo3 minus we know co2 is sp linear hybridization sp hybridization and it is linear and its structure is like this now we deal with clo3 minus for clo3 minus we know that the number of electrons in the outermost shell of chlorine is 7 now there is an extra negative charge that means there is an extra electron in the central atom that means in the outermost shell of chlorine now we have 8 electrons now this chlorine will bond with 3 oxygen atoms therefore 3 6 uh, electrons are occupied therefore it has a free lone pair therefore its uh, steric number is equal to 3 plus 1 is equal to 4 now we know that for steric number equal to 4 we have sp3 hybridization steric number equal to 4 therefore we have to incorporate 4 orbitals that is 1 and 3 of p orbitals like in this case we had uh, steric number equal to 2 therefore we made 1 s and 1 p therefore this is sp3 hybridization therefore it is tetrahedral geometry the geometry is tetrahedral that is the molecule will be like Cl and a lone pair this is a tetrahedral figure in three dimensions it will be like three atoms on three corners this is a central atom and there is another atom on top so it is a structure like that therefore we get the structure for ClO3 minus now let us take, take the case of nitrate ion now this negative charge is not the, on the central atom in this case because this has been formed from HNO3 therefore the negative charge is one of, in on one of the oxygen atoms therefore the number of electrons in the outermost shell of nitrogen is 5 to get a tentative idea we see that this requires 8 electrons uh, in its outermost shell to complete its octet now it will take 2 electrons from one of the oxygen atoms and form a double bond pair over here now it may donate this one pair and it will bond, bomb, bond with another pair to take one electron from here therefore this uh, the tentative uh, the tentative bonding will be like this therefore we can see that this steric number will be equal to 3 there will be no lone pair of oxygen or uh, lone pair on the nitrogen atom therefore the steric number is equal to 3 that is the number of neighboring atoms therefore the hybridization becomes sp2 therefore the structure becomes trigonal trigonal planar with a nitrogen atom in the center an oxygen double bond over here a coordinate bond with oxygen over here and a single bond with oxygen over here this is the structure of the nitrate ion over here we see that the octet of all the oxygen atoms and the nitrogen uh, nitrogen atom is complete this nitrogen had five electrons initially it has taken two electrons of this oxygen and one electron from this oxygen by this single bond here is a coordinate bond in which both the electrons are being shared by this nitrogen atom so that this oxygen also completes, uh, completes its octet and this nitrogen does not get any extra electrons in its octet so the final structure for NO3- becomes this 
for CLO3 minus becomes this, this is a tetrahedral structure, this is a trigonal planar structure, this is trigonal planar, it is trigonal and planar, this is tetrahedral and uh, this is sp linear in nature. So, we get the final answer for the structures of CO2, CLO3 minus and NO3 minus respectively.